Niaji Africa, bonjour Africa, what's up Africa, how's everyone doing? This is the final video for the All Africa Games. It's been an amazing, amazing, amazing tournament. Ended on the 23rd of uh, March where we had the closing ceremony in Accra. It was, it was really dope, to be honest. Like, Accra really put on a show for us. Um, my only complaint about these All-Africa games is, guys, we need to have one, one broadcaster because getting these games was insanely difficult. Like, trying to watch the games was just wild. You're either watching highlights or even if not, you're not watching highlights. For you to get a highlight, it's like you have to make highlights of your own. So that, that was my only complaint to the All-Africa games. But all in all, over 5,000 athletes, I think... Um, came out in this uh, event, in the tournament. 54 member states of the AU competing in 29 different disciplines um, over 16 days. That was quite, 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 quite dope. Um, 19 gold medals, um, 68 medals, the most ever for hosts, uh, Ghana at the Africa Games. This is the only other team I'm going to talk about or country other than my country. Um, so yeah, I mean, really good to see Ghana actually do well. Um, then South Africa's Catherine Van Rensburg actually won five gold medals. Really, really, really dope. Really dope. Um, what else? What else was outstanding? Yeah, that's it for other countries. Uh, <laughs> for the final tally, Egypt finished with 191 medals. 191 medals. Nigeria in second place with 121 as well. South Africa in third place with 106. Algeria had 114. They had more medals, but South Africa have more gold. So they are automatically ranked a bit higher. Um, my beloved Kenya, we got 37 medals, 37 medals, 37 medals, um, eight gold, eight silver, and 21 bronze. Um, I'm just going to go through the big people, the people who just made my whole tournament, right? Brian Coman, 1500 meters. Let's go. Aaron Cheminingwa, men's 800 meters. Let's go. Um, for those of you who didn't watch that race, uh, second place was Keep Me Teach as well. Uh, so we got one, two in that race. Uh, Chep Me Teach, women's 10,000 meters. Let's go. Emily Ngi, women's 20 kilometer walk, guys. We're 20 kilometer walk to Hawaii. Um, then Beatrice Chep Koech, women's 3,000 meter steeple chase. Oh, impressive performance. Um, Mary Mora, the GOAT. Women's 400 meters. If you guys haven't seen my video on Mary Mora, please just check it out. It was hilarious. Um, and lastly, I want to give a big, big shout out to our lady, our girl that's doing us proud in the women's tennis. Angela Okutoi. Let's go, Angela. Let's go. Angela was insane. Angela won gold in the women's tennis. I'm going to say that again. Angela won gold in the women's tennis. Angela beat El Hussein Salama 6-4-6-2 um, in the final. That was in Egypt. And the semi-final, she beat out Sheriff Ahmed Abdelaziz from Egypt as well. That was her, that, that match was very tricky for her. 7-5, she won 5-7, uh, 7-5, seven, 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 6 Pretty close. Every single set was just something to just die for. This one had more of an of an impact for her because getting past the semifinals, I think, may all means that she's now in the running for the Olympics. Something like that. I'm not too sure, but it had a bearing on, on her getting to the Olympics. So, Angela Okutoi, I am a big fan. I am a big fan. I am a big fan. Um, if there's a video that's going around of, I think it was a manager or someone, I can't remember who it was, but once they got through, they were sitting at a table, like, all watching together, and she just got up and gave everyone a kiss, and she was so excited, and like, those are the moments you want to see in sports, you know, and just just doing us proud, like, um, I also know Carol Radul has been really, really big on her, so shout out to Carol as well for really, really just pushing her and just telling her, yo, the, the sky is the limit for you, you are actually doing wonders, and man, in tennis... I said a thing about this Africa Games is that I'm seeing us just do well in sports that are like so we were not known for, right? Um, in the gold medals as well, I have missed one person, which I, who I'm not seeing over here. There was one person who won um, uh, 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 Edwin Kipmutai To. I need to give a shout out to Edwin Kipmutai because 
not only did Edwin win silver, he won it in an event that we've never, I mean, I've never seen a Kenyan actually do well. He's a decathlon athlete. Um, funny thing is that he is actually training with one of our followers on X who actually followed us after we did our video on his performance. Um, that is also up. You can check it out on our page. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically how the Kenyans did. And I know the cricket, I also watched the cricket teams, both cricket teams. The men's team managed to get to the semifinals. We lost badly to Zimbabwe, I think by one or six runs. And then in the third, fourth game, we lost to, who did we lose to? We lost to Uganda. So both our men's and women's team, I think, actually lost to Uganda, um, if I'm not wrong. But um, mm, 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 what did I want to say? Uh, we lost to Uganda by, wow, which was actually a big margin, 60-something runs, 67 or something runs, 68. Uh, 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 yeah. But uh, the reason why I'm bringing up uh, Kenya in the in the cricket is that they had certain performances that just blew me away, right? So, for example, our victory over... Um, we actually lost to Uganda twice. We lost to them in the opening match and we lost to them in the third, fourth game. But, uh, again, uh, we beat the uni sports of South Africa, USSA, 141 runs to 71 runs. And for me, the person who was my, my, this is this is a personal thing. I was in, I fell in love with Arnav Patel. The man... I, I don't even I can't even call him a man. The boy is just 18 years old. Like he had five wickets in the first game against um I think it was Rwanda. Then he got three wickets I think in this game. Like he was just playing fearlessly. He was just he was so good. He was so solid. Um, um our captain as well, Raquel Patel, was actually quite he was good in terms of leadership. Colin Sobuya had a few games where he had a um, number of runs. He really held held it down for us in the in the batting department. But for me, Arnav Patel, again, another kid to watch for the future. I am definitely, definitely going to look out for you in the future. And yeah, that has been the All Africa Games. Um, this is a nice preamble to all the IWF that's coming and eventually the Olympics, which we are all going to cover here on Box to Box. And with that being said, I'm going to say goodbye to Africa in terms of the All Africa Games. We are still here. You can catch us in every other sport. But for this particular event, tournament, Accra 2023 All Africa Games, it's a wrap. Au revoir. See you. Bye. Kwaheri. Peace.